Hey guys, um, gonna go ahead and loot the bookstore called Crack a Book. Here's the coordinates of it for the Navs game. Um, it's actually just up from my home base, just north of my home base. So quick little easy run. Another good reason why the information center is probably a, the best, or at least a great way of um, starting your first base. It's got a Crack a Book right next door to it. So I. I guess we can clean out these zombies. There's a lot of them. I don't have that many arrows on me, so... It looks like there's some zombies inside of it, too. I think I saw one, so we'll have to deal with that. <clears throat> but yeah, let's go ahead and just put some spikes down for these guys. Take out this, these zombies around here. It's a little trick I do. Learn this in H1Z1, too, but... Just put down some wooden spikes. They're cheap, you know, um, and they'll mess them up. So, let's drag them back through. So you just keep going back and through them. Oop. Hoping to finally get a gun here pretty soon. That's one of the reasons I'm here. Is Get some schematics. Really what I need is some more gun parts, though. I need one more piece for an AK-47. And a couple more pieces for the Magnum. I need to make a blunderbuss, too. I'll probably do that here tonight, because the horde's going to be here tomorrow. So I might start working on that. And that, that big dude, that bloated zombie's taking a bunch of damage. Shot him in the head, he's crawling through him. Alright, come on back through, guys. What the fuck? There comes a bunch more. Fifteen arrows left. some crawlers now. Once they start kind of all getting on the ground, you can't really see which ones are dead and which ones are crawlers, but yeah, definitely got a little group of them here. Whoa, that one lunged at me. <laughs> Almost got me. And there's the wooden stakes. They're just about gone, so I'm going to go ahead and Oops, shot right under her chin. Face it. There we go. Alright. Just these two guys left. Need to get a better club, too. This thing's horrible. Alright, so I guess we're not only looting the, um... Cracker book, we're also gonna loot... A little small horde of zombies. But yeah, those wooden spikes are awesome to keep with you. This is, that's basically my, um, I like loadout, my running loadout so far in early game before you get a lot of guns and stuff, but I did just get steel finally. Decided to go ahead and finally take the time to make a forge. When I do a playthrough again, um, the next playthrough I do will be more advanced. We'll probably play it on Nightmare and uh random gen but you'll definitely want to make the forge and everything right away within a few days you want to really get going i'm just playing this first playthrough everything on default to basically um kind of get the hang and learn everything read it the description of everything and the idea is to really master the game so that later on in the next playthroughs and in multiplayer, we can really jump right in and know exactly what we're doing about everything. Because that's really what this game is, it's just learning. Once you learn it, learn all the rules of it, then you're the master of it, so. Look at all those dead zombies, that's crazy. Alright, so we didn't get much. Uh, we got some bullets. Let's scrap this. 
what is this? Goldenrod seed. Cool, so we can make, grow our own goldenrod, which is, I don't know if you really need to do that, but I guess if we have a farm, might as well. All right, so finally, let's get the crack of book. After this one last car. <laughs> let's see. Probably easiest just to go in through the uh, window here. Put my mining helmet on. One of the best items in the game, because you get a light with it. I don't know why I didn't grab that. There we go. Let's see what we can get. Get some junk first, and then we'll check and check out for the books. Now I think some of these, if not all of these, yeah, these straight up give you leather. These black couches, so some I learned from. What, what would I do with that? Pick up the end table lamp. Okay, so now I have a lamp. I wonder if it actually. No, I couldn't actually turn light on. That'd be pretty cool though. Anyways, let's finish searching here, getting our leather. I actually need leather for uh, iron armor. Because I can't craft leather yet. You gotta find the, the book for it. I'm keeping those gold coins for Alpha 15. Hopefully it doesn't reset your single player game and I'll have a whole bunch of money. Because those, those I think are gonna be used as currency. All right, so look at all the bookshelves. And nothing. <laughs> and paper. Well, paper I think you can use for making shotgun ammo, so... We're gonna be making that here next anyways. And if anything, it's a great place to get some leather. Yeah, loving this steel axe makes everything easy. I think the, the steel axe is actually, the steel, steel is the best so far in the game. I don't know if there's anything better than that yet. Let's see. All right, so, so far we haven't found any books. And I know like, I think every 30 days in game, the items are supposed to reset or something. I'm not sure what to figure that out. Is that a leather hood book? I don't really need that. Guess we can make a leather hood. Might look cool with iron armor anyways. I bet I got an iron, um, like, helm books already. So, all right, look at that. Sniper rifle, that's gonna be fun. Let's shoot some zombies from like a little sniper tower overlooking like the biggest city in the game. Biggest town, I should say. I guess it's a city. And uh, shoot zombies all day or just get on rooftops and shoot them. Man, nothing but paper. It's horrible. Well, and the sniper rifle, I guess that's pretty good. More leather armor, I think. So, I mean, if everything does reset every 30 days, yes, that's what we need. That's one of the best things in the game right there. Crossbow schematic. This was a score. I'm totally happy now. <laughs> that's one of the main things you want to get. Because it basically is it's either that or the bow from the very beginning. So, it's a big jump. And it's, it's a lot quieter. It's basically the, the best silent weapon. I don't know if you can make silencers yet in this game. But that'd be nice if you get a silenced pistol. So let's see. And we actually have a pickaxe with us now. So if we need to go through anything heavy, we can. If there's any safes or anything like that. So we should be able to fully loot this place. A oh, piece of wood. Nice. Nothing. 
Nothing, nothing. Search the toilet. I was gonna grab some human dookies. Alright, so we're getting pretty good loot here though. I don't know why I keep not pressing the uh, collect button. Alright, there we go. Not much in this in the uh, bathroom, but I mean that's expected. What do we got here? Refrigerator. Bottle of water. Or a jar of water, because you know everybody keeps jars and <laughs> waters, not bo bottles. I don't know why they didn't go with the bottle. I wonder if it was just to be different from H1Z1 or what. I wonder if they had to legally be different or not. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and make sure we just get all the rest of the bookcases. I think we got them all, but oh, there we go. Didn't get that one. And didn't get that one. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's see. Get all these. I wish these were full too. I don't know why they would do that just to balance the game, I guess. Don't have too many bookcases. Okay, so let's go in this back room. That should be it. Look at this room, all metal. That's kind of, oh, this is a loading bay. That's kind of neat. Well designed. It's actually what I want to do when I finish my degree. Um, level design. I know it doesn't pay the best out of the departments in game creating, but it could be the most fun. Okay, stupid fucking end table that I picked up. I don't need get rid of that. Uh. Okay, so oh, we got one more door here. These probably both go to the outside. Now this goes inside to another back room, maybe an office, so let's check that out. Get to use our um, steel pickaxe for the first time. Nice. Nice and easy. Uh, I think I already got one of those. Oh, just a regular shirt. Anyways, let's make some room real quick, because we're going to need it. So let's read that. You can tell if you've already known or not if at the bottom it says you learned a new skill or if it says your skill has increased. As in here, new recipe unlocked. So like the first one just gave me a skill increase. So once you learn it and you read the book again, it just increases your skill level, which is actually pretty cool. And here we go. We're going to have us, hopefully we'll get a crossbow bolt going for the uh, Horde Knight. Alright, so while safe. Take a little bit of time. I think I should probably actually save those for later till I get the quality Joe perk all the way unlocked. So yeah, let's do that. So I'll come back to that. Subscribe and follow me on this playthrough series, and we're gonna have a video that is um, gonna have everything. Uh, where basically I'll go through once I get my quality Joe perk all the way maxed out. Which won't take too long, but. Um, then we'll come back and we'll hit all the safes up the entire game. And so what that does is it increases the quality of the things that you do find in those safes. So, but um, damn, 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 fucking damn. So, pretty good, cool though, pretty good run. We got, um, we got the crossbow schematic, which is uh, really cool. So I'm happy with that. And we also got the sniper rifle. So that's, that's pretty good. I mean, we can get the sniper rifle going and the freaking crossbow will be pretty, str pretty strong on that. So, but I don't know what happened with that wall safe. That was kind of weird. But any of that, there's the crack of book.